Hey everyone, I thank and praise God to be tagged in <clears throat> Thanksgiving Tag, I believe it's called, um, by Sweet Sadie J. Thank you so much. I was answering the questions while you were um, answering them yourself during the tag for Thanksgiving, and it's so nice to be tagged by you. Yeah. So... Let's get right into it, shall we? I'm out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course, I gotta drop y'all first. There's only but right now. Now you've been tagged. Get you up to this. Uh, check it together. When did that pop up? Let me get a little thing in the back popped up. Okay, Thanksgiving tag. This is my, I don't know what number tag. This might be my second or third tag. It's pretty cool. Okay, what what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? <clears throat> Boy, uh, whew, just thinking about it, I definitely have to have um, the the dressing, um, the stuffing. My my mother in law and late sister in law taught me how to make Thanksgiving turkey, and we'll get into that more. Yeah, but I have to have the, the stuff that she taught me to make and gravy with it. And turkey's great. We can, everybody can be on the plate, everybody. But that has a good little bit of turkey and that stuffing with the gravy on it. And then we'll get to the macaroni and cheese and all that. That's how I used to do it. That's how I usually do it. So that would be your favorite side dish. Okay. Um, what is your... Favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Of course, I prefer my my desserts um, refrigerated, even if it's cake. But right about now, it's my uh, sweet potato pie. Uh, I believe my mother in law taught me how to make that as well. To me, for cooking, I needed to learn timing for stuff. But you know, I usually had to warm up food. But now I can just go ahead and just cook it. So I know I just need the timing. So it's definitely Thanksgiving as a uh, sweet potato pie. Let's see. Number three is what? What is your idea Thanksgiving outfit look? What is your ideal Thanksgiving outfit look like? Thanks for asking. Um, I don't know when I decided to do this, but I always love a nice outfit for Thanksgiving. You know, just something nice. You know, comfortable but somewhat dressy, and a nice good wig to go with it. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, yeah. It may be to some eyes flashy, but if if, 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 the, if the outfit encourages me, then I'm I'm, I'm gonna have a good time. I, you know, it all starts with the outfit. Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, birthday. Lisa is requiring a, a good wig. And a good outfit. It has to be something good. You know, it could be jeans. It could be boots. It could be, you know, it could be, um, what do they call them? Ankelette boots. It could be, you know, um, a wedge a wedge heel boot. Whatever I'm in the mood for. But it's going to be something a tad flashy, semi-dressy. You know I'm celebrating something. And it'll be Thanksgiving. Yep. And it'll be new. Hopefully new. Even if the pants are old, the shirt got something. It's got to be a new outfit. It's just something about bringing that into the... This is me. I might be a weirdy. Weirdy. I'm sorry. Let's see. Um, number four is, what is your best Thanksgiving memory? Yeah, I could, I was thinking about that as Sweet Sadie J was talking. Um, <clears throat> my best Thanksgiving memory would have to be 1991. Um, first Thanksgiving. Uh, learned how to make a turkey. Mother-in-law and my late sister-in-law taught me how. Oh, so many things went into that turkey, uh, especially the stuffing part. I could always clean the bird, but um, just the timing, how long it's supposed to sit in there. So it had the, it was it was cool because we I could clean it, and then they would they would use these cooking bags, and then um, I put the turkey I put the turkey in the bag, and then from then it was on because we get the bowl, we get the we get the jiffy uh, cornbread. And um, they put uh, boiled eggs in there, and the 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 what is it the the liver, the gizzard, 
I don't even know, the kitchen sink. And then they grab it and they throw it into the turkey mouth. It was just, but the memory, I'm talking about a little more than you would. The memory was that the fact that it was 91 and we just had our first child. And I was basking in the glory of making this Thanksgiving dinner with help from my mother-in-law, lay sister-in-law. And uh, my mom, uh, stepdad was there, my biological, my dad was there, my husband married, our baby boy was there, and I mean, it was good for a few minutes, and then all heck broke loose for a second, but then thankfully everyone just got it together, everything was cool, and then I found out that my mom was pregnant, like, how you gonna feel my thunder? Like this is my thunder. That's still, you know, I'm, I'm basking in the. I mean, I'm married. I'm being all responsible, you know. I got my baby, my husband, and y'all supposed to be basking in the glory of me pulling off cooking this darn turkey. And it, and and yeah, I'm pregnant. Like what? <laughs> That's the best memory. I have to go 27 years again. I mean, there have been many, but that one took the cake. <laughs> it took the cake. I'm pregnant. Oh my! It's like my turkey's a like you know, just throw all the thunder up out the room. Oh God, don't want to take a lot of me. Okay, breathe. Okay, that was hilarious. Let's see. What is your least favorite Thanksgiving dish? And that's difficult because I'm thinking a lot with Sadie, like. Does anyone make anything questionable? Like some people like try to, you know, experiment with their, with us, you know, family members. And like, is there anything like gross? I know back when I was uh, 13 years old, I heard I've, I've had a, a, a stroganoff was with the noodles and stuff. That's not great. Depending on who makes it, you know, hopefully this camera will focus when I get ready. That's not great. Maybe I was too young to enjoy it, but Thanksgiving... Excuse me. There's usually not a lot of weird things going on. I don't know what to say unless someone just makes liver. I'm not a big straight liver eater. Whenever my mom made that, but put a lot of ketchup. So if you just make a thing, if you're going to come to Thanksgiving with just some liver on the plate, and even if with onions and gravy, I'm, I'm not going to want that. So either some liver. And the beef stroking off is good now, depending on how you made it. I mean, there's not really too many bad Thanksgiving dishes that I can really think of, unless you're serving, like, some okra. I'm not a big okra lover. You can just keep that to yourself. I mean, what is it? Ch chitterlings? Yes. Okra? No. Nah. Not eating okra. No okra. Love okra, but not okra. Not okra. No okra. Let's see. Um, do you have any quirky... Thanksgiving traditions. Um, no. The only thing I really have required and desired for us this is um. Are you gonna focus? What are you doing? Okay, I, I did that good. Um, as far as Thanksgiving quirky Thanksgiving, it might be sort of quirky. I like to watch a new movie. Either we buy, I might have mentioned this in the vlog I did, but either we buy a DVD or rent something on demand. I mean, other than seeing, other than seeing the Thanksgiving parade, I love watching that. Oh, I just love it. Um, I have to do that. That might be a little quirky. Um, I have to watch that. Even if, I, I'm, if I'm at another relative's house and I've like kind of missed it where I live, like, hey, turn the TV on to the, you know, Thanksgiving parade. I mean, I'm, I want to see. I, I want to see it. I want to watch. I don't care. Even when Santa Claus come out, I want to watch the whole thing. That and the uh, uh, movie. Have to see a movie because usually things are busy. <clears throat> Thanksgiving day, you can't hardly get out anywhere. And at home, you gotta fight nobody. This is your house. You you you, watch it. you gotta say get out the way and where's the popcorn? This is your house. You sit down, get something on demand, buy you a movie. We've done that, we've done both. And we sit down and watch it. I mean I mean I might not wanna watch the equalizer like my husband. Uh, I had to be able for that. But, you know, I pick out something good. So it has I have to watch a movie. I know there's gonna be the cowboys, my husband loved them. You want to see them, but I, I was at least two, one or two movies. It's me all happy and had fun at eight, had a good time, and that good movie. Let's see, number seven. 
Boy, it's my own writing. Uh, where do you, where your family go during Thanksgiving? <clears throat> Uh, where do you, where do you and your family uh usually uh, celebrate Thanksgiving? Back in the days, it's definitely my mother in law's house, but we we have Thanksgiving here. You know we you know we see family, but we definitely oh my gosh my pen's acting up. We have it here. Let's see. What do you love, huh? Number eight, what do you love most about Thanksgiving? Wow. Thanksgiving, love about my, most about Thanksgiving. Okay, I can move this up because it's getting kind of hot. Uh, um, it's hot in here. Why did I pick this one? It's hot, child. Move this hair around. Okay, what do I love most about Thanksgiving? Well, I'm going to tell a joke, right? Right. Let's get with it. Um, I don't live with these people, so we get to catch <laughs> we get to catch up. And um, it's amazing. I don't know what it is about Thanksgiving and Christmases. Um, some people, no matter their ethnicity, they they decide to spill all kinds of beans and revelations and all kinds of things like that. So that is um let me turn this page back over. I, I put some hair on it so I'm not coming on no scarf. I'm give these people some hair. Let's see. What do you... Yeah, what do you love most about? Yeah, I get to see everyone and talk to everyone. If there's some things I didn't really get to say to you by phone or in person, I get to really kick back and really talk to you about those things. So just having everyone there, you know, back in the day was really awesome. There was a lot of people... Um, alive that uh, they're now passed on, and you know, different people you got to see, and you're excited because you don't see them every day. So, yeah, so I love to see everybody and then see what everybody's eating. Oh, this is a weird one. Like, hmm, what do you, hmm, what they eating? You know, just those, uh, oh, you like that? Mm, I don't like that as so much. You eating that? Oh, God, I enjoy that. Let's see, number nine. Oh, gosh. What do you think has changed most? Since the first Thanksgiving. Um, that's good. It's kind of hard to get. I guess you answer this question the way you would. I mean, the first ones, sadly, that I remember, a lot of those people are not alive anymore. My my mother's dad, um, my late grandmother, um, my, my sister-in-law, um... Yeah, and some people have gotten ill and um, those kind of things. Um, but, you know, I just thank God for, you know, who we, who we have, you know, who we have now. You know, there's a, there were a lot more people in the beginning, you know, just like in life. You might start off with a lot of people. Let me swing this back. You start out with a lot of people in your life and then you find yourself... You know, there you guys either have to separate or, you know, tragically they passed on perfectly, naturally, you know, natural causes, not no one did anything to them. But um, yeah. So that's what's definitely changed. That's pretty big change. Uh lastly it says, What are you thankful for? Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm thankful for so much because um I have a lot to be thankful for, you know, I, w I was, I'm not supposed to be alive, you know, but God allowed me, God allowed me to still be here with, you know, my family, my children, my husband, and um, I'm thankful that I can lay eyes on my, my dad, my brother, and talk to everyone um i'm thankful that despite all obstacles that you know we're still we're still here together we're still we're still my husband and i are just still married you know the things that came to shake and rock the boat didn't kill us didn't take us out the the waves might have came on but we held on to what was left of the boat we kept going 
um, our four young adult children. They're not babies anymore. Hmm. They're not babies. So, so how about wear, make sure I don't wear you. Let's not wear you up. Um, our four young adult children. Thank God for for them. This is I got this camera all kinds of ways. It's not giving me. That's oh, kind of okay. I'm thankful for our four young adult children. To see them, they're all big now. They're doing what they're doing, what we did, working, trying to make a life, you know, scratching, doing what they got to do. Um, thankful for the family we have left. Um, thankful that despite the just best I can, despite what is going on in this world, that God has truly kept us despite what's going on right now that God has truly kept us despite whatever store you want to go to and you know he said I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly you know we've gone to different stores and we've been kept going to our markets we got to go eat get our food and come home um people going to work and just going to have their job they might go through isms and schisms but they come back and they're fine um you can make plans thank god to to make some plans and try to get those plans taken care of <sighs> i'm thankful to, to be in the land of the living with everyone. To be a part of YouTube. I mean, <laughs> if you told me, and I and I have definitely tried to create, I, I definitely have tried to have the courage <clears throat> to do YouTube. And it took some time, but after a while I got comfortable, I went ahead and came and came into YouTube and meeting a lot of people, despite the different... um. Things that's going on in my personal life that little by little I'll divulge. Um, I'm, you know, I'm thankful for, for y'all. I mean, this is uh, my, my first Thanksgiving with uh, YouTube. And um, it's really great. I mean, my face is about to crack. Ooh, it's really great, you know, despite it all. But... Yes, the, the most of all, that, that God has kept us through everything. So many. What that song said, uh, so many uh, toils and snares. I have already come. I mean, what is that? Is a, you know, God has he's kept us. We can enjoy Thanksgiving. We go get our food. I didn't get the turkey legs because I don't know what my grocery store is going to. But, uh -uh. And we're going to have something else. <laughs> but we were able to get the little food we could get and make it. And, you know, we have a little, we got something over our head, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I ain't going to like this next thing I'm going to say, but. Even even with having the president we have, it's making us even more thankful and more prayerful. Yeah, so we we and and and, and even with the situations that that happening in the news, it's so sad, y'all. But we 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 take the time out to to be close and be thankful, and uh, all of that I'm saying, I have all that I'm thankful for, and and, and hopefully I get to see all of our um. Our, hopefully we see all of our you know children if they're if some of them are just busy definitely praying for them but me, me and my husband just hold hands and just thank God because you know he didn't have to do it you know he didn't have to do any of it I'm thankful for my a lot to be thankful for I got, I'm thankful for this again YouTube and you know, people like um, Miss Emma and uh, Sweet Sadie J. You should see Sweet Sadie J a lot. And, you know, it was just so many people on YouTube, so I just kept going. But then God has seen fit that, you know, I see Miss Sweet Sadie J even more. And I look forward to her vlogs. 
a part a part of this uh community of people that have um oh my lord this little hair just jumped in my eye that has really um embraced it you know but you know if you act like you got some sense people don't mind embracing you don't mind you know talking to you mm -hmm. You know, you're crazy, then, you know, you got other people you don't need to talk to. But, um, yeah, so all of that, you know, God has been, he's been more than good, better to us than we've been to ourselves with our crazy selves and doing things we've done. And yeah, there's a lot to be thankful for. So, um, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me again, just had some... Some chicken that had made, uh, excuse me again, I had a chicken, big chicken. I use a Mrs. Dash taco seasoning. Yeah, and some peas. And it's the peas, uh, some brand I bought, but there's a sea salt in it. That's good. And then onion stuff I like to use with, you know, so I'm just thankful. All of that, thankful for all of that. Okay, okay. Lad, lie down and just sleep and not, not be worried about anything flying over our head. That's according to uh, Psalms 91. That's something great to read, Psalms 91. Thank God for another, this will be our 28th, our 28th, um, 28th year of Thanksgiving. I don't know the number. It can't be 28 things. So it'll be more than that. But it's about 28th year of Thanksgiving together. So. Okay. Ooh. Man, like the Christmas thing. I, I, it's all these holidays. You know, there's a lot of them. That get, you can get really emotional. You really can. So now, I've talked a little bit more than maybe some. I would like to tag uh, Talk Nation to do the Thanksgiving tag, I think it's called. And uh, you've been tagged. And uh, Brown Eyes on a Budget, um, you've been, I tag you to do the Thanksgiving tag. Um, Mama Lex, I haven't seen her in a while. I'd like for you to do the Thanksgiving tag. And if any of you all, as, as Sweet City J had said, I, I will follow in her footsteps and her, her, her and concur. I concur. If you have been tagged already, will you kindly tag someone else so we can all enjoy each other's answers to this Thanksgiving tag? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Please give thanks to God and don't eat too much. Do the best you can. Easy going. Get some Toms. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you, sweet Sadie J.